Hello. We're recording this again because the first time I got my new mic on and I was Marine Corps projecting too much from a shelf because I just got back from California for the reunion and it was blowing out the mic. So, this is the new Taj McCluckin. It's made on a pop-up camper trailer frame out of an old carport that was given to us basically. So if you look at the yellow cord coming down here, this powers our solar charge controller and everything for the fence because we still use the electric netting because with mink and fox and everything like that, these girls will get eaten if we don't have it. You can see them from where she's at, but there are 200 watt solar mounted at the top of this, and then there's a 200 amp hour battery bank down here. <clears throat> so that is enough to run the 30 watt light sensitive motion activated predator lights that we have on the front and on the back. It also runs all the pumps and heaters and everything for our 60 gallon full-time circulation tank. So it comes out of the barrel, goes into the pump here and then comes down into this. So we have gentle pressure that comes off of the water system where anytime they're pecking at it, it overflows that cup and keeps our water clean. And it recirculates it back up into the tank. And then this is our little, I need to wash my hands or whatever or to just drain it when we want to get this fully empty to move. In this cabinet is our uh, 40 amp charge controller system so I can expand the solar panels on the roof if I need to. And there's little switches. Oh, my light's not good for that now. There you go. Little switches in there that are covered up with some plastic, keep them safe. Um, and those can turn on and off the different power sources for the pump, for the lights, for the, the tank chicken heater, door, the tank heater. This box is also insulated. So in the winter time, because we do get down to like 20 degrees and sometimes even zero here in Tennessee is crazy. <gasps> um, but we do have to keep this insulated to keep everything from freezing. That's also why this circulates full time. We were going to mount these feeders on the side of the coop. But looking at things just how things are going we're actually going to build little mounts for them and set them throughout the field to where we can actually target our impaction because even just with one week of these girls having these feeders sitting here they're already impacting this area around the coop much harder than normal and since they already like to hang out here it's just gonna be way better to have them out in the field on either side of all the water tank and solar we have dust bath boxes where we've got um, wood ash and DE. This one's the DE. I'm over here on this side. It's a little wet because it's been raining. There's some wood ash. <clears throat> Whether they've used it or not is, you know, another factor. So we have 12 nesting boxes and as typical chickens are, look, they only use the bottom one. The end of the day now so yeah. the shadows and everything sorry guys i don't know if you'll be able to see with the shadows but in order to close off the nesting boxes at night we have a little thingy here for now they hi techy techy yes high tech so now they can't get in there and nest in the boxes at night and poop in them so it helps us have you know, less eggs to clean and everything like that to sell
coming around the back side, we have our person size door and our manual chicken door. So if we ever need to shut them in, like tonight when we move them, the auto door will probably already be down, but we'll close this door and then flip up. So we can close this, flip this up. And now nobody's going anywhere. Keeps everyone safe. And because or it's East we... Tennessee, all we have to do for here in Tennessee is to throw magnetic marker lights on it. This may be street legal. It's also nice to be able to close that door if we need to, to treat any of them or clip wings. We can close it and then in the morning open the people door and one at a time clip wings as they come out. Again, we got our 30 watt light sensitive motion activated light back here for predators with a nice broad screen. It's also going to be nice when we're setting up our fences tonight when it's dark. Our people door is full sized, top to bottom. It lets us get in without bonking our head on anything. There's the inside of the nesting boxes. They have little roosts on them so they can get up into it. Now, obviously, these girls have been in here for a couple weeks now, so they've made a little bit of a mess but the flooring is one inch square grid, uh, hardware cloth coated. And so it's wide enough that most of the poop is falling through. Now, obviously on all the struts and the frame of everything, things are catching on them, but we can come in here with a pressure washer and hose it all down. So for the automatic chicken coop door, we've tried several and every other one, but this one has sucked. So this is the JVR one, we got it off of Amazon for a pretty reasonable price for what it is. It's actually a screw type cylinder that closes it and it's pretty much all metal and aluminum and stainless steel and sealed electronics. It's got the uh, motion sensor, so it won't cut any chickens in half because it's strong enough to strangle them. It's got a good waterproof electronic box if we wanted to put it outside. But also, since we're gonna be pressure washing in here, that's nice, because this is all a sealed system. The setting of the system is actually really easy on this as well. I might do a different video on it later on how to do it. But there's multiple different times that you can set it for. I think there's maybe three or four. Um, not sure why you would need to open and close it three or four times throughout the day, but you can if you needed to. Um, and it's easy to update it and change it. Like this time of year, you know, I'm constantly adjusting it for when to open, when to close, because in the springtime, the sun is, is changing its pattern pretty drastically right now. So it's nice. So in preparation for moving them, I'm gonna take the feet out of the way here. So I'm gonna start draining this. I'm actually going to shut the water pump off. 